Yes! Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season four, episode three of The Expanse. This episode is called Subduction, and subduction is when a tectonic plate, which are the little plates on top of um of the earth, go like that. So one goes under the other. That doesn't bode very well for Illus or New Terra. I'm looking forward to seeing how that pans out, and I wonder, you know, was it to do with Jim's um, probably fatal decision to follow the investigator down the rabbit hole figuratively and quite literally in that last episode we saw the episode end with you know not to be too bohemian rhapsody about it but thunderstorms and lightning and it was pretty scary and it did kind of bring me out of my proto miller trance in a way and remind me that this isn't miller this is the proto-molecules harnessing of attributes of Miller in order to essentially create a tool that would help it in its quest. And it just, it really did serve as kind of a wake up call to me to kind of put my fondness for Miller aside and realize that what I'm seeing isn't actually Miller. It, it is a rendering of Miller. So I will probably be using the investigator a little bit more as we go forward to help me kind of separate myself emotionally from that character, which I think is actually brilliant because basically we have to go potentially on the same journey that Jim and the rest of the crew are going to have to go on. Everyone who knew Miller will have to go on is that they have to let him go and appreciate that he died when he died in season two episode five he's gone what we have is 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 you know an artist's impression at best so there's that we also have Murtry who has gone ballistic in his um efforts to find justice for his 23 um comrades he has just shot a belter in the head i don't think that's going to go very well while i have complete empathy with the sort of instinct to behave that way to just want to go fuck it i'm going to shoot anyone i know they did it i don't you know i'm going to go i don't believe the action was right and i i mean i can't endorse it because i wouldn't i wouldn't endorse it of anybody i wouldn't endorse it of myself if i lost it and just shot people without having conducted a proper investigation i sure as eggs wouldn't be going around saying well yeah i murdered someone but you know i was i was really upset about my friends I'd be saying, oh my God, I've just created a complete shitstorm because I couldn't get a hold of my feelings. So I'm only applying the same judgment to military that I would be applying on myself or anyone else. It also doesn't help the, the actor who's playing him, to be honest, because he is so, always a baddie. So I'm just, I just cannot, I struggle to view him in any light other than danger. We have uh, Marco Inaros now named officially. We know the name of the man that inspired such complete love and devotion from our dear Naomi that she she lost her head a little bit she lost herself in him and he nicked their kid Philip and buggered off she's not seen him since so I don't know if this is the season where they have their showdown finally after all, for season four can you believe how long we've been led up to this kind of character's entrance I really really would like to meet him this season I'm looking forward to seeing what really is the lay of the land with Ashford. I, I cannot tell at the moment if he's going to come along with Kamina and it's going to be kind of him and Kamina trying to lead the OPA forward versus Inaros. I'm thinking we'll see maybe either, you know, Kamina fighting all fronts or Kamina and Ashford versus Inaros. And it kind of waits to be seen which way Ashford is going to go. And I think it's going to be a real test for his character. I'm realising in the course of saying this that somehow I've ended up with complete faith in Camila that she's not going to do anything rogue. But obviously that's not impossible. Um, you know, especially if her ties to Naomi weaken, but we'll see. I kind of I feel like kind of Camila's earned my trust at, at this stage. So if she did 
turn tail now, that really would be a shock. I would be stunned. Meanwhile, Bobby is dealing with all sorts of shit. She's working, she's a dot worker. It's just a crappy job. Everyone is treating her like the shit on their shoe. David's basically been cooking up a Focus, the Focus drug. I guess that's like a Ritalin or an Adderall equivalent for Mars. So that, you know, they've been basically selling this drug um, illegally. And Bobby stumbled across it. She's liberated her um, rather naive nephew, but has now got herself in trouble with these people. It looks like this drug gang, the blonde horrible one, might have actually killed um, a Martian customs inspector in order to kind of keep the lid on what they're up to. So that's troubling. But we've also got the Sojourner, which is a colony ship, a UN colony ship that had been kind of hanging out about the ring, hoping to get through at some point. That's been, um, the people in that have been spaced and they've all gone floating into the ring. But we don't know what's happened with that and we don't know how it connects to the larger story. We also have the sabotage on Illus, which is why Mercury is going nuts. So we have these things going on. We, we don't know how they interconnect yet or who's responsible for them. Um, we know Inara, Marco Inaris is probably responsible for the Sojourner, but we don't know to what degree he's involved in the other ones. So it's going to be quite interesting to see those come together. And um, Avasarala is, as ever, attempting to hold everything together while everything is falling apart. That is my long story short introduction. Now, without further ado, let's have at it. Oh shit, right where we left off. Oh, fucking hell. Back the fuck up. What did you do? You fucking kill Coop. You gonna kill us all? The lightning is moving in a straight line. The fuck? Amos, you've got a lightning coming your way. It's gonna hit the settlement. Amos, what? get the cover now. Straight. Stop! What are you putting a gun at lightning for? Now I'll turn something on. That sounds bad. Is everyone okay? More or less. Sounds like we all dodged the bullet. Well, most of us did. Murphy shot one of the belters. What? Why? The belter wasn't armed, but it was three to one. Oh, God damn it. Murphy shot an unarmed man in cold blood, and no one did anything. The lightning blew this place up right after. Amos, keep a lid on the situation. Okay, you want me to shoot Morty? <laughs> no, I don't want anyone to shoot anyone. Just do what you can. Amos, I'm gonna grab whatever spare power modules we've got on the road and join you there. Pause. Just, just that to point out, I don't actually think Amos has called Murtry the same name twice yet. He's literally picking a new wrong name every single time. He's like Murphy, Marty, Morty. It, 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 I love it. Play. Secure our modules. No one lifts a finger to help them. You know, it told me I was connecting a circuit. You say a goddamn thing about this. <laughs> you uh, want a minute alone with him? Explain. If Miller knew or cared about us, he would have warned me about the settlement. I'm not sure I can trust him anymore. Shit. I think we're on our own. Naomi, we need to see if we can figure out how to turn off what I just turned on. The swarm was bad enough. This feels a whole shitload worse. Yeah. It has to be the priority. All right, keep me in the loop. We'll do. Stay safe. You too. Naomi, you can't go running about. You're knackered. Oh, I tell on you. She is getting my last nerve with this. You can't drug yourself through it. Oh. Got a really bad feeling about 
This is just wrong. One strike every 3.71 seconds, exactly 3.22 kilometers apart. It's too consistent to be a natural phenomenon. Something has to be creating it. Okay. Each strike is a superposition of 13 separate discharges. It has to be one for each moon, right? Not that I have any idea what the hell that means. What? Chief Bertri. He shot one of the belters. My God. Why? I don't know. I think he thought the man may have had something to do with the crash. She was in the crash too. She's not shooting people in the head. So we just killed him? Just like that. Maybe you should come back up here. One of the light shuttles will be coming down in the supply run soon. We came a long way. I stayed down here for a reason. Can you tell me where did the lightning start? <sighs> Mr. Holden, it's Dr. Okoye. The lightning phenomenon seems to have started at the ruins. I'm already there. How, how did you get there so quickly? Because we're celebrities? I'll see you there. Uh, no. Doctor, it's really not necessary. I'm they... coming. I'll be there soon. Shit. What have we done? What have we gone and bloody done? Secretary Absarella is part of the old guard, and we can't afford to let this be an old guard moment. Told you! Wait! For all of us. Pause! What did I say at the end of the last season? I'm going to have to stick that here. I want to know what's going on with the Vassarala and what role she's going to play in this. It has to be pivotal. I think she's one of the best placed characters to do the work politically that's going to need to be done as things move forward here. But at the same time, she is so heavily associated with the way things have been done that I think she's going to face some interesting challenges from kind of up-and-coming usurpers who um, kind of want to displace her and, and see this as their opportunity. I did it! Play. Everybody finally gets a fair chance. Denying Everybody an gets a pawn and a blowjob. She sounds like she's running for fucking prom queen. Nancy Gao has been prepared and she doesn't have to spend all her time keeping the world safe. Don't worry. A nice, clean battle. Where I know who the real enemy is, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> you talked to David today? He hasn't come back from school yet. He's probably just studying with his girlfriend. Mm. Pick up some beer on your way home? We're running low. Ouch. David, I'm where sorry, are Bobby, you? I'm really sorry. Please don't tell my parents, but... I, I need your help. Okay, just slow down and tell me what happened. The enemy be Austin Shallows Concourse in 15 minutes. Trap. Correct. Check the connection between the power cells. Hmm. <laughs> that is so Martian. That is superb. Of course they would be doing that. <sighs> you really fuck things up for David. Where is he? At least now I don't have to listen to him go on and on about you. It's fucking pathetic. I need a lot more makeup if you don't tell me. He's safe, but that can quickly change if you don't cooperate. Who are you, her dad? full-time employer what are you talking about David used to cook for me after school you gave him a permanent position when you destroyed my lab and oh wait wait is this gonna be is this in our office because this is a major actor here what's his name but you know I don't have to deal with the parking in the city and insurance on these things fucking insane your mother's convinced you'll kill yourself, right? Yeah, pretty much. Good call. They deserve that life. They deserve it not because they earned it as individuals, but because we've earned it as a nation, as a people. He's in um, Nurse Jackie and all sorts of shit. He, oh, my God. Oh, I hope that's him. This can't be a cameo.
bleiben. Ist das Bullshit. What do you want? Just the money I lost. I'd say that's fair. I don't have it. But you do have access to the military storage rooms at the shipyard. All you need to do oh, is fuck. accidentally leave one of the security doors open. No. What are you stealing? That's none of your fucking business. If it's weapons, I'm not going to help you hurt people. It isn't weapons. Oh, Bobby, don't do this. This is a mistake. These belts of generators are old as shit. Oh, no, Amy. Those fuckers aren't gonna do a thing to help. Nope. I'd say the battle lines have been drawn. We'll pull that shit on Amos, tell you that. Sell our oil, we'll have enough to buy years of supplies. Enough for all of us. Do you really hold out until then? We'll make it. Ship's leaving as soon as the shuttle gets back up. You went to university, didn't you? Yes. In the belt. That's what I want to do. They think I can't. We know you can. And one day... When... We're not having this conversation again. Lucia. We're building a home here. Felsia. You need to accept that. Felsia, we're out of disinfectant. Go get some alcohol from the trading post. I'm helping Naomi. Tough one. Felsia, do as you're told. Oh, it's a tough break. I appreciate your help, but please don't encourage her. She belongs without family. I don't think you can really force her into that. Yeah? Uh-oh. Told you. I'll be back. Lucia, I got a thing going. Rounding up some people for later today. Are you crazy? You were right there, you saw what happened to him. Yeah, that's the reason we must do this now. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fucking hell, Naomi. I just fried an isolator. Do you have one I can borrow? I'm all out, sorry. That's okay. Mm. What do you think you're doing? I need some parts. All RC equipment stays here. Well, you're not using it. Where choose orders. Fuck off. Put it down now. Sure. Take it. Murtry said. Yeah, I'll square it with Murtry. What the fuck, Amos? <laughs> what? You like getting shot? No. Because you were about to. I needed some parts and you weren't using it. So don't think I won't shoot you if you pull that kind of shit again. Okay. So does that mean we're not fucking anymore? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, it... no, I guess. <laughs> cool. See you later, then. He is something else. He is something else. 
Let's do this. Madam Secretary, it has been an honor to Your serve resignation you. is accepted. I am surprised you have the time to waste on such meaningless traditions like There's this. There's been another incident, Anilis. New Terra. Does its name change what's happening there? Of course not. Because we don't know what's happening there. None of us do. Which is my goddamn point. Whatever is out there, we'll deal with it because that is the history of our species. Right up to the moment that our species ceases to exist. I look forward to having this debate with you in public. So do I. Nancy better sleep with one eye open. I want to report a kidnapping. And what's the missing person's name? David Draper. Yes!